What's up? This is Brazabel, and today I'm going to be going over a few tips and tricks for DJing. So I mix using the filter effects, and the filter effects are located right here on the sound color effects. And now to enable the filter effects, all you're going to do is just tap the filter button, and it's going to now be flashing, so you know your filter effects are on. You control the filter effects with this knob right here, the color knob for each channel. When the knob is straight up and down, no effect is happening. However, when we turn it to the right, you'll notice we're only getting the highs in the song right now. So there are no lows going through and this is called a high pass filter because you're letting all of the highs pass through. If you keep turning, you're going to go up the, the spectrum, the frequency spectrum, and cut out more of the low, more of the low, more of the low, the mids, the mids, the low highs, and then until you have nothing left, basically, except for the very top of the high range. And then you can sweep back down, and again, when it's directly up and down, you have no effect going on. Then if you go the other way towards low, you're going to be performing a low pass filter. So what's going on here is you're letting the lows pass through and they're, you're taking out the highs. Okay. Have you ever been to a festival and the DJ is playing that song that everyone knows the words to and he wants you to sing along? Well, he does this and then lets you sing along. So if you've heard that little like string effect, that's what he's doing right there. String, string. And it's, it's taking out most of the noise so you can sing along. You could also just do it like that, but I, you know, this is another way to do it too. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed my tips. Good luck at home. I just use it to take out the bass of one song and to bring in the bass of the next song because you never want two basses playing at the same time because it sounds real bad. Real, real bad.